This video is for the nerds just like me. So last year we stumbled across the Pro Club's leveling guide from EA and lots of you guys asked me daily how to reach maximum level fast on FIFA 20 Pro Clubs. How do I get all the trait points? Do I get skill points from drop-ins, cut matches? I'm gonna answer everything today for FIFA 20. Now believe it or not, there is actually a fairly clear system in place for leveling on Pro Clubs by EA. So let's get into it and thank you to everyone for your continued support on the channel. We've smashed past 80,000 subscribers which is ridiculous and 100k before the end of the year remains our goal. We have it in sight and please do leave a like on this video if it helps you out. So to start, what is Virtual Pro XP and how does it work? You get XP after every single game of course, be it a league game or a cup game or even drop-ins. Now, there are two types of XP that can be earned, base match XP and something called bonus XP. Base match XP is completely down to your virtual pro's match rating after a game. The little units during a game next to your pro will obviously show you what match rating you're on. This table kind of shows what I'm on about, so from 0.0, .0 to 10.0, this table shows exactly how much XP can be earned with 1500 for a 10 out of 10 match rating being the max base XP you can earn in a game. What's good about this is you can actually level faster than someone else if you were better than them, in theory. Because we know in CAM, for example, the average match rating is broken based on our positions. Something EA have failed to fix in FIFA 20. It ruined all of FIFA 19's experience in CAM. And to be honest with you guys, I do not see it as something that's going to be fixed. To show you what I mean, in CAM the other day, for two goals and three assists, I got an eight match rating. However, when you play in striker, if you get a hat trick, it's automatically a 10 out of 10. Guaranteed. Now this is all down to the game telling you that you are basically out of position when you play in the cam slot and these out of positions reduce your match rating. The game obviously wants to put you into left back, nobody knows why, it still hasn't been fixed. The only solution to this is to not play cam, unfortunately. So your base match XP works towards your leveling like so. Your XP earned after a game is assigned to your virtual pro by being split between primary, secondary and tertiary attributes for that position. So if you are getting an 8.0 match rating in striker, you're going to earn yourself 1,100 XP points as this table shows. That 1,100 XP is then split into your primary attributes for striker. So here are those attributes. If you are playing in the striker position, the stuff that's going to level up first and going to take 1,100 XP on is strength, reactions, acceleration, sprint speed, finishing, heading accuracy, shot power, long shots, volleys, short passing, attack positioning, ball control and dribbling. They will all receive maximum 1,100 XP if you get an 8.0 match rating. The secondary and tertiary attributes for your pro can be based on position but for an 8.0 would receive 70% of 1,100 and the tertiary 30%. So you get 70% of 1,100 XP going into your secondary attributes and I would imagine for a striker that would be stuff like your long passing, your stamina, your, maybe your interceptions, that might fall into tertiary which is going to get 30% of 1,100 XP, so stuff like your standing tackles, all those sorts of things, probably most, mostly defending and goalkeeper attributes, they're going to get a little bit less XP, but you're still gaining in those areas. Taking a look at centre back, just as a contrast, we can see that your primary attributes that are going to level the fastest and get 100% of your match XP rating, jumping, strength, reaction, aggression, sprint speed, heading accuracy, and the rest are all there to be seen. And, and you can imagine that the same thing for goalkeeper, it's going to be mainly down to your reactions and your diving, handling, etc. And right now I'm just flashing up each position. And if you want to pause this video on your desired position and take a copy and have a look at it, you can, of course. And if you wish to read and understand what level's fastest for you, here it is for you guys. So do you see what I mean by saying it's quite nice to know that EA put something in place? A lot of you guys will be hearing this for the first time and surprised that there is anything as deep as this in pro clubs considering the game mode has been mostly ignored. It is also important for you guys to note that if you do get like an 8.4, not a round number, it will round down to an 8. If you get an 8.5, it will round up to a 9. So my advice is to not get a 0.4 on anything, to be honest. Just a friendly reminder, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button below the video and smash your face into the subscribe button. Just a friendly reminder.
So now let's take a look at bonus XP. Your virtual pro can earn bonus XP in a match by completing specific actions. Bonus XP works differently to base match XP as it's only applied to specific attributes based on the type of action that was completed. So taking a look at how it works, you can see a goal inside the box will earn you 40 XP, a goal outside the box 50 plus 20 XP shot power, and really you can just make your own reading of this and see what gets you. An assist will get you 10 XP on a short pass, 25 vision and XP 10 on a long pass. It's pretty interesting to go ahead and give this a read. The link is of course in the description to this document and you can send this video to your mates if they're a little bit shy at pro clubs so they can understand how to level. Making just one tackle will see your marking increase by 5 XP, stand tackle, slide tackle and aggression go up. If you're in goalkeeper and you get a clean sheet that is quite a lot of XP. You see the diving, the handling, the kicking, reflexes and the positioning all increasing. So one thing that we did touch on last year when we looked at this table again, it, it is quite nice to know that there is actually a leveling system in place. I don't think that the more experienced players watching this video now would be surprised if I brought you this video and said there's nothing in place, it's just completely random. So for them to have this in place is actually decent from EA and it is a pretty good leveling system. I like that you get rewarded for being a better player on the pitch. It's just a shame that in positions like Cam, you're not going to get any leveling done really because you're out of position 26 times. I mean, you are going to level, but it's going to be slowed down. That's just something that's really annoying. So you're probably thinking, how high can you get? How high can your virtual pro get? Well, we don't really know this FIFA. But going off of this article, each attribute can be grown using base match XP or bonus XP until it hits the attribute cap. Now, we've had a lot of visual glitches in the past where you hit the visual cap, but then it continues to go up. But this article does explain that once an attribute has reached its cap, the only way to then increase it further would be to purchase traits. So if you've got maximum passing, but you've got three passing traits that you can still put points into, that will, of course, increase the cap. I'm sure you guys know that. The only way to increase it further would be to purchase skill points, traits, and then of course how high your attribute can grow is determined on your Virtual Pro's weight, height, position. The attributes and the limits that can grow to the XP are detailed in the spreadsheet above. So again, linked in the description, there is this sort of Excel file and you can actually see how high you can level based on your weight, your height, and you can work out your favorite build. I mean, this is for the proper nerds like me to look through, but every position is here and what is... <laughs> They have a centre mid tab. I genuinely didn't know this. They have a centre mid tab. You can't play centre mid on... They don't have that as a position. But you can take a look at this table in your own time and see what caps your levels can get to based on the weight you're at. You can see if you're looking at... I think we're in the centre mid build that doesn't exist here. Agility-wise, if you're £100, you can get to 83. And if you are £253, the max your agility can get is 74. I'm assuming that is, of course, before you add the skill points. Now, the last thing you want to know about leveling is skill points, of course, and it is the same as FIFA 19. There are 110 skill points available. If you play 100 games in the league and the cup system, you will get those 110 skill points. If you play in a drop-in game, you will not receive skill points. Don't ask me why, you just don't. This table I'm going through on screen shows you exactly where and when you get the skill points. When you start off, you have 15, you play one game, you get three. When you get to three matches played, you get three. And it goes all the way down and through, showing you exactly when to expect the arrival of your skill points, with your 100th appearance giving you five, bringing you to 110, and that is the maximum amount of skill points you're going to get. Now, what's interesting is you can obviously apply these to traits, and they've added traits into FIFA 20 that weren't there previously. Now, I'm interested to know when I do get to maximum level. Obviously, I've only played about 100 games already. But when I do get to maximum level... How is it going to be effective? Because right now I'm looking at the skill tree system and thinking they've added traits, so there's more traits there, but there's not enough skill points to maximize all of those traits. And I'm a bit worried. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to build a striker that has a decent weak foot and can actually pass a ball. It's going to be one of the two because you can only put your points into one or the other. So it's going to be weird to see how that happens. And of course, I did release a striker build tips video the other day, which you guys are loving trying out. Really good reception on that video. And as I level up a little bit further, I'm going to experiment with other builds and traits and I'll bring an update video to you on that. We have got dozens of build videos, tips coming to the channel. So make sure, as I said, guys, you are subscribed to get them. And I thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. And it explains to you guys once for all how to get to maximum level on pro clubs and how to do it fastest. If you enjoyed, drop a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Check out all our other pro clubs content and I hope you guys have a great day.